Hi, what are three things you can do to improve your life during this shelter in place? And I'm not talking about cleaning the garage or cleaning the kitchen drawer. Stick around, that's what I'm gonna talk about. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley and I do these videos weekly, typically about real estate in Silicon Valley and things to do. But today I'm gonna to talk about three things you can do that will improve your life. And I'm saying during shelter in place, but honestly, you can do them anytime. Would you do me a favor and subscribe to my channel? So let's get to it. Number one, finances. Okay, there's a few things you can do. One, call credit card companies and ask to lower your interest rate. I just did it and I got six points reduced on one of my credit cards. Another thing you can do is call your car insurance company. I do you know some of the national companies are already doing it automatically for you, but you might as well call and make sure that you can get some sort of refund on your monthly premium. Another thing you can do is get a copy of your credit score report. Oftentimes there are things listed as issues from your credit past, and it might not even be true. It might not even been you. And I even saw ads for Experian they're doing something called Experian Boost that will you answer a few questions and they'll bump up your credit score, I think a minimum of 10 points. Get on it, you got a little free time. Number two, how about let's talk about estate planning. So in California, if you own a home and you pass away, I don't care if you have a will or everybody knows who you know your loved ones are, your house and your estate has to go through the probate courts. It's a costly, time-consuming process. Avoid it by having a living trust. Within that, you can put your house, your cars, bank accounts, stocks, anything of financial value. Think of it as all your material assets are in a warehouse and you just give the key to your loved ones. And it's that easy. Within the living trust, it also incorporates a will. So you designate who gets what a medical health care directive, which is huge, you guys. If you get incapacitated in any way, your loved ones need to know what you want. Do you want them to keep you on life support? Do you want them to pull the plug? I don't know. You make those decisions so that they know what your wishes are. And then it also has power of attorney. So if you are incapacitated and someone needs to sign for you. So all those things are done at once. You can find online websites like LegalZoom, uh, Rocket Lawyer to do it for probably like $100 if you have something really simple. I have another option, it's $500 and you get to talk to an attorney and it's pretty easy to set up. Or go to an attorney if you are local to Silicon Valley, I have some great resources. Additionally, I have a document that I created over 20 years ago and I just started writing things down that I thought would be important if I died and my loved ones would need to know. So things like bank accounts, insurance um, contact, my attorney contact, passwords on my computer so they could access things, where all my legal documents are, whether it's some kind of certificate they might need, uh, my social security card, all those things. I mean, I even go down to what songs I want played, um, when they disperse my ashes. So it's a free little document I created. It's about four pages. And honestly, it gives me so much peace of mind knowing my loved ones know, they'll know exactly where all my information is to access anything in my life. So if you want that, you can go to my website. I do have um, a link under resources for estate planning. I'd be happy to share that document with you. It'll take you 20 minutes to fill out peace of mind i'm telling you for you and your loved ones okay step number three peace of mind for you and this is just really about creating a daily habit it can take as little as five minutes or less a day i read three daily devotions two happen to be christian and one is non-denominational i also do a gratitude journal and it's pretty quick and simple but i'm telling you on the days that i miss I notice it. I My mind spins out a little bit more. I'm a little bit ne more negative. So take this time during shelter in place when it's really easy to spin out and get negative to start to train your brain to be more grateful, uh, to be more present. That you'll keep a more positive attitude just in general. I'm here to be a resource. Please reach out, email, text, phone. I will be happy to share any of my resources with you. And if you liked anything I had to say, would you give me a thumbs up and remember subscribe, I appreciate it. And until next time, have a great one.